The U.S. missile defense system known as a Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, or THAAD, will be deployed to the Korean Peninsula. Seoul and Washington's decision will undoubtedly have massive security implications in the Asia-Pacific region. Let's go straight to our Kim Hyun-bin at Seoul's Defense Ministry for details. Hyun-bin, we saw this coming, but it must be a big day there. Uh, that's right, Talon. Uh, South Korea's defense minister made the announcement a few hours ago, and it follows months of negotiations between uh, Seoul and Washington. Now, that is designed to take down uh, North Korea's ballistic missiles. So let's hear what the defense ministry has to say. To protect our citizens and U.S. forces in Korea from North Korea's WMD and ballistic missile, the two allies have decided to deploy that to the Korean Peninsula. The deputy minister added that the goal is to deploy THAAD to the Korean Peninsula before the end of 2017. A joint working group has been working on that since February. Now that the decision to bring THAAD here has been finalized, uh, the group will focus all of its attention on finding a suitable location. Now here's U.S. 8th Commander uh, Thomas Vandal on that. This decision is an important milestone, but there is still work to do. We will endeavor to identify a suitable site in the Republic of Korea that offers the greatest military effectiveness for THAAD and meets environmental, health, and safety standards. South Korea's defense ministry says they are in the final stages of making the decision and will make an announcement within a couple of weeks at the latest. The experts have suggested either Chigok and Gyeongsangbuk-do province, or it could, as it could cover U.S. bases in Daegu and most of the South Korean peninsula, or Pyeongtaek in Gyeonggi-do province. Now, the deployment was bound to spark controversy, especially as China and Russia are deeply against it. Now, China has already reiterated its opposition to the deployment and urged, and urged the U.S. and South Korea to put an end to their plans. In a nod to Beijing and Moscow's concerns, the South Korean Defense Ministry stressed that that is purely uh, defensive in nature and, to, and its uh, sole purpose is to counter the provocations uh, from North Korea. Now, that's all I have for now. I'll bring more updates in the later newscast. Thank you, Hyunbin, for that. We'll have uh, more analysis on the THAAD deployment to Korea in our evening newscast.